Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. I, um, this is my second attempt to try to do this video. <laughs> Last time my screen just went blank. I don't know. It's charged. It's not dead. I don't know what happened. It just glitched or something. So it died right in the middle of me talking. So attempt number two. Um, I have some finished objects that I want to show you guys. Like I told you the stuff that I've been working on and, and stuff over the past three weeks or so, but Look what's finally done. My Santa gnome. Mm, I love him so much. I know I posted a couple pictures of him on some of your pages to show you. But he's ginormous. He's ginormous. He turned out so cute. Oh, his little head is dipped. But, um, yeah, the light is kind of blowing him out a little bit. It's this white. But my husband pointed out that I missed some of these little strands to brush out to make it, like, curly beard. Let's see how it's, like, curly. Yeah, it's super cute, but he's done, and I need to stitch down his hat a little better. I had a lot of, this is only my second again, attempt at um, Amagurumi, so I had some trouble getting this hat on because you, you fold up the brim and then sew it around from the stitches underneath the fold. It was kind of hard for me to do that, but I love him no matter what. I love him so much. He turned out pretty good. This is the pattern by One Dog Wolf. Um, and I just love him. What I used to stuff his body besides the polyfill is I used my sewing scraps because they wanted you to use like rice or something and pantyhose to make him heavy. Well, I had so many um, scraps, sewing scraps that I was like, I'm going to just use those because that, that'll make him nice and heavy so he doesn't tip or fall off the shelf or whatnot. But I love him. I love him so much. He's huge. He turned out so good. And, um, I actually have two people that want me to make one now. So somebody wants me to make him in this pink, like pink, like a rosy pink and silver and another one in green besides the other red one I want to finish. So I'm super excited about him. He's finally done. I love him so much. And then I've been working on tons of hats for the Crafty Floridian. Of course, we all know Billy, the Crafty Floridian. Um, I've been working on hats to send her for the hats for kids. So here's one of the hats that I finished. And I was playing yarn chicken and decided I was going to do another hat like that. And I ran out. <laughs> so I had to do the brim in this purple color. But there's another hat. And then all these ones, I just have to sew in the little wispies. So don't mind my wispies. But I've been trying to use up my homespun yarn. I love homespun yarn. Me and Classy Kim, we both love our homespun. It makes the prettiest projects and it's so soft and I, I just love it. <laughs> but um, I was gifted like 24 homespun yarns and I, I it was just taking up a lot of space on, on my shelf over here because I don't use it too, too often other than scarves and hats. And they're just so pretty and they're warm and they're lovely. So I decided I was going to make a bunch out of my homespun. So there's one. I just, like I said, don't mind my tails. I got to sew in my wispies. Here's another one. This blue, this light blue. Um, when you sew in this tail, this little pixie type um, point goes away, but. It's just so pretty. I love the colors in this. That's the second one. And then I have this pretty, pretty purple. This pretty purple one. Oops. I have this pretty purple one. This is, I don't even know some of the colorways on some of these because the ball bands were missing. Look at that one. I love this color. I love these colors. They're just so pretty. And then I have one more in the homespun. More than likely, um, I'll be making two of each of these because one of the balls can make about two and a half hats. With the extra, um, I just do stripes. But isn't that pretty? I love the colors in this one. I love the colors in all of them. And then this one is made out of the Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn because it's so thick and it's so warm. Look at that. I love this one. 
but there's the other one. And like I said, these little, I don't know why, but every time I make this particular style hat, it does that weird point at the top. But then once I sew that wispy in, this little wispy right here, it goes away. So I'm not worried about it. Oops. But yeah, these are super cute and they're nice and warm and they'll be perfect for the kids. But just cute. Nothing fancy. I got two more in the works over on my sewing table. And then this one I just thought was cute because it's getting close to that time of year. But I decided to do this kind. <laughs> it's got the little eyelash fur around the border to make it more. Um, it's got that little fur to make it more Christmassy like a Santa hat. So I did this one. Um, I, mean, I just need to pull, uh, take my needle and fuzz out this a little bit more. But isn't it cute? A little, little bordered Santa hat. I, got a, I left a really long wispy because I wasn't sure how big of a border I was going to do. So it's just cute. So I did that one. So those are all my hats. And then I remember the um, yarn that Sky sent me in my Happy Mail. Well, with the Crafter's Choice um, Christmas yarn, I made this, this dishcloth right here. And I'm going to make another one. And that's going to be a gift set for one of my neighbors. So just some dishcloths. And then with this little dollop yarn bee that Sky sent me, um, that's what I have left after making this dishcloth it's a pretty just it looks so pretty all together so I made this dishcloth and that's all I had left out of a little dollop um, for this dishcloth and then with the I love this cotton in the minty I did one to complement it yeah the same the same stitch as this I don't remember what stitch this was um, I'll put a link in the description box below of what pattern I used. I just can't remember because it was like two and a half weeks ago. I'm lucky if I can remember yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of complements each other. So this is going to be a gift set for one of my neighbors. And um, I love working with this yarn. It's so dreamy. It's a dreamy cotton. It's so soft. I love it. Thank you, Sky. And then, most importantly... Most importantly of all, I finished my nephew's forever blanket. This is the pattern by Linda Davies, the no holes baby blanket. I finished it. I finished it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was like me and my crochet sister, Linda, why do we work on blankets in the heat of the summer, right? But I love working on blankets too, Linda. I do. I, but it's done and it's beautiful. And I took some pictures on my net on my stepson's bed, and sent it to my sister for my nephew. And she was like, "Oh my gosh, he's gonna love that so much." But it's done, and it measures completed seventy-two inches across and eighty-four inches long. But it's got a little bit of stretch to it, you know. So. He's going to be thrilled. I'm so happy. Poor nephew. This, Like I said, his birthday was the end of April, and it's now August. So it's done, though. So now I can get this in the mail because um, I've been waiting to show you guys it. But I'm done. I'm done. So he will be happy to have that. And then as far as other things, I have um, – I've been working on my rug, my – See all the knots and bolts and chunkies? That's the underside anyways. But uh, I'm almost done with my rug. This one hurts my hand to work on. It hurts my wrist a lot. But I'm almost done with this. This is just my rag rug for my kitchen. Um, I was going to stop here because I like the length. I want to do a border around the edges just because I don't like the difference in the waviness of the t-shirt yarn. So I'm going to do a border around the edge, but I laid it down and it's quite, it's big enough this way. 
it's plenty big this way. It fits underneath the kitchen cabinet. But I think I'm going to add eight more rows to it. I was going to finish it off right here at this red. But I think I'm going to do eight more rows. Because then it'll be a nice big rectangle. So instead of ending it, I'm going to go ahead and finish eight more rows to that. And then this will be done. But I love the colors. I love how it's turning out. I love the scrappiness of it. I got to admit, though, I was loving the Lion Brand t-shirt yarn up there, up here, all this up here, t-shirt yarn. I was loving it when I originally got it. I'm not loving it anymore. So I'm not real impressed with the t-shirt yarn. Of course, I bought this way back when Lion Brand had the t-shirt yarn online for a dollar before it ever wound up in the dollar store or anything like that. So Lion Brand. Your t-shirt yarn kind of sucks. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. I mean, for smaller projects, I mean, I've, I've made baskets out of it and stuff. And some of the baskets I've loved. I've loved the way they turned out. And then other ones, that's that. All right. And then what else? Oh, I'm starting. Uh, that's a work in progress. And then I'm starting another work in progress here. Oh, I lost my stitch marker. I have so many cool stitch marks. But anyways, I'm starting another project here. Do you know what it is? Can you tell by the shape? I'm yarn bombing something. <laughs> I'm going to be yarn bombing something in my house. This will be done in no time, and I'll show you when I finish it. And then one last but not least. I love the way the virus shawl looks. And so I got this on clearance, the shawl in a ball or shawl in a cake at um, Hobby Lobby for $8.97. I got this really pretty color. It's called Mellow Muse. And I started the virus. Isn't it pretty? It's a lot thinner than the mandala yarn that everybody's using. So I'm just curious how big I'll have to make it. But there you have it. Started the virus shawl. And I'm not sure if I want to do virus meets granny or if I just want to do the virus. So we shall see. But those are my works in progress. Those are my finished objects. This is the little giraffe um, Noah's Ark bag that I made. I sent one to D Thompson, Knit Pearl Squirrel with Granny D. I gifted her one of these because I love D. And then um, I have one that I'm going to be doing in a giveaway, which I know you guys are probably sick of me saying that, but I'm doing a giveaway video. I'm doing a giveaway the video this week. I am. Um, but that's the little bag. I keep it in there. And that's it. That's it for my finished objects as far as crochet. I'm going to do a second video for um, some sewing objects that I've done because otherwise I just don't want this video to be, you know, 35 minutes. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time. So I think good between 13 to 15 to 17 minutes, that's good enough. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for seeing my finished objects um, and my works in progress as far as crochet goes. I'll be making a few videos as far as uh, sewing, um, some really cool books I picked up at a used bookshop, um, and my giveaway video. So I've got three videos that will be posted this week. So lots of videos this week, lots happening. Between this week and next week, I'm going to say that. Between this week and next week, um, I'm going to at least get two more videos done, hopefully this week, and then two more next week. So... I'll be a little bit bombarding you, but I'll keep them short, under 15 minutes, hopefully. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again. Appreciate y'all. Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye-bye.